News. I'm Nora O'Donnell. Good night. and postal workers. Hundreds of jobs are up for grabs, but will recent attacks on jobs turn applicants away? It's something that, like, you have to assess risk with anything you do. You guys have had your chance. This is our press conference. And quite the circus in Alameda County as supporters and opponents of Pamela Price face off. The big decision today about a recall election that even had the DA herself sounding off. This is not about public safety. It doesn't appear to have a basis other than a racism. We're not going to wait eight minutes for a recall opportunity. It is the brand new fitness craze inspired by military training. You can rock on a dog walk. You can rock in between your kids' baseball games. So what exactly is rocking? Bird puts on the backpack and gave it a try. This is CBS News, the area, with Juliet Goodrich. Thanks for joining us at 7. Whether you're at the local post office or they come to your home to deliver your mail, postal workers are part of our neighborhoods, you may even know them by name. Their jobs are important, but not always easy. In fact, recently, they have become targets for thieves, and in some cases, even being attacked on the job. Right now, the Postal Service is trying to fill 600 positions. It even held a job fair in Menlo Park today. Our Amanda Harry caught up with Jada, one of the applicants who is holding out hope for a new career, despite some of the occupational hazards. Managers with the United States Postal Service say they are looking to hire as many people as possible. They say they're severely understaffed, meaning many people have to work overtime, leaving them tired and possibly more at risk. Okay, so, no, I'm